how are y'all? Um, July 10th, I officially became a signed artist. I'm signed to a record company as a songwriter. It's something I have worked for, man, uh, over a decade, definitely over a decade. And um, the other day, my friend called me and she asked me, hey, are you doing everything you're supposed to be doing? Are you going through your checklist? Um, have you booked your flight to New York to go out to the record company and all of that? And I was honest with her and I said, mm -mm, no, I haven't. And she asked me why. And I told her the truth, which was because I am afraid of trying because if I'm trying, then that leaves room for people to laugh at me and talk about me. As I was telling her this, God gave me the revelation that people have been talking about me and laughing at me my entire life literally my entire life i have been plus size my entire life i had acne so bad that my face looked like a meat lover's pizza believe it or not i was always tall i'm only 5'1 now but i have not grown since maybe the third or fourth grade so 5'1 is pretty tall for an eight-year-old i was always the tallest in class i was always the fattest in class so i was always called amazon hercules xena whatever before i was even born i mean i was conceived under wedlock their relationship didn't work out another man took me in claimed me as his daughter gave me his last name and you know put his name on my birth certificate so before i've even seen the light of day people have talked about me and so god was saying so you're really gonna let what you've gone through your entire life stop you from living your purpose stop you from doing what you have worked so hard to do stop you from what i have ordained you for i have anointed you for i have given you this assignment people have been laughing at you since the very beginning of time when you published your first book and you uploaded the wrong copy you uploaded the unedited copy so my first draft of book that went out had so many typos in it i uploaded the wrong book and believe me i'm still hearing it there was four years ago and i'm still hearing about that people have talked about me my entire life i am no different than you people have talked about you your entire life people have been laughing at you your entire life yes you homeboy with the four babies four baby mamas and you praying for a wife they talking about you they laughing at you. It's going down at the barbershop. They are really laughing about you. They saying, Jermaine, really think some woman finna come along and take care of all these kids. Yeah, guess what? Somebody is. God put it on your heart to pray for it because he has it for you. Baby girl, you don't even have a GED and you researching on how to become a nurse. Girl, they laughing at you. They talking about you some serious. And it's your own people too keep going god put that dream in your heart he gave you that vision he gave you that vision he does not give vision without provision he is always making a way he is going to make a way so yes baby girl yes homeboy they are laughing at you they are talking about you my daughter is only 18 months old and i cannot think of a day in these last 18 months where someone has not said something to me about her skin color she's a beautiful chocolatey girl now if people are saying stuff to me her mama about her skin color they're definitely going to say something to her. One day, I'm not going to be around to take up for her. So I am teaching her from the time of understanding, baby girl, they're going to talk about you. They are going to talk about your dark skin. They're going to talk about your curly hair. I'm 5'1". Your daddy is 5'4". More than likely, you ain't going to be center guard for a basketball team. More than likely, you're going to be short. They're going to talk about you. Hopefully, you won't have weight issues, but... Your mama has weight issues. Your daddy has weight issues. You just might have weight issues yourself. They are going to talk about you. Yes, I'm all for anti-bullying, but I'm also down for 
I'm also anti-giving two flips, okay? Because we can do all these anti-bully rallies that we want to. It's not going to change the mindset of sick people. Hurt people hurt people. That is the point of bullying, to make someone feel as low as them. So I'm not trying to teach my daughter about you know, going and crying and, oh, well, we're going to do this anti-bully rally. No, we're going to do this anti-give two flips because people are going to talk about you. They talked about you when you were in my belly. They talking about you when you walk in this earth. And they're going to even talk about you after you're dead. You're going to be under the ground and people are going to be like, remember that time so-and-so? They're going to talk about you. They're going to laugh at you. They're doing it right now as we speak. So please live that dream. You've worked so hard for it. You have sacrificed. You've stayed up to 3 a.m. working on it, perfecting it. God is going to finish whatever he started in you. Baby, they laughed at Jesus. They are laughing at Jesus. I know it's somebody right now saying this was a good video until she said something about Jesus. They are going to talk about you. They're going to laugh at you. And you're not going to be for everybody. I mean, everywhere I go, people are stopping me, telling me how all of my books have helped them, how all of my books have advanced them, have, how all of my books have helped them see a n different side. And I've explored topics that people don't want to talk about. And then I have meet other people who say, that just wasn't for me. I don't think you know what you're doing. Okay. It just wasn't for you. So you ain't for everybody. Everybody's not going to love what you're offering. And also, your light is going to offend people. Don't dim it for nobody. Yes, they can talk about you. Yes, they can laugh at you. But just make sure they spell your name right. And make sure they say it right, too. Be blessed.